Hi, I'm Anish Insane, a PhD student from SketchX Lab, in University of Surrey. I'll be presenting our paper that has been accepted in CVPR 2022. In Sketch-based image retrieval we aim to retrieve the appropriate images from a database of photos which are closest to the input query sketch. However, sketches are notoriously difficult to collect. A practical scenario for application of SBIR is the zero-shot paradigm which examines the data scarcity issue from a category transfer perspective. Here, a model is trained on a certain set of classes but evaluated on another completely disjoint set of classes without any additional data provided during inference. Zero-shot SBIR is trickier compared to a conventional zero-shot problem. The non-triviality here arises due to diversity in sketching styles. By default, zero-shot setting assumes that we only need to generalize to new classes, that is, adapt only to the different photo distribution. But for sketches, it needs to adapt to these sketching styles, in addition to the new semantic knowledge. Hence, we need to figure out a way to adapt to different distribution of input sketches as well. Or in other words, to the entire test set distribution. We also need to remember the old knowledge learned from training on scene classes. We intend to achieve this by design a framework that performs test time training to adapt to the test set distribution on the pre-trained model during inference. The main challenge here is the absence of corresponding labels during inference. Exploiting the vector information in sketches, we thus perform sketch raster to vector translation as an auxiliary task to update the model. Furthermore, to avoid catastrophic forgetting, we engage a meta-learning framework during primary training, that conditions the model, to preserve the latent space geometry, such that, new semantic knowledge does not distort the learned cross-modal embedding. Our pipeline starts with a feature extractor, which bifurcates into two branches. The primary branch, focuses on cross-modal discriminative learning to a cross-modal latent space, by employing standard triplet loss over the extracted feature. Triplet loss brings a sketch closer to its matching photo while distancing from the unmatched one. There are two auxiliary branches, one for each modality, which are also used during inference. The sketch vector branch, feeds the extracted feature into a GRU, which decodes them to a five-tuple set, each indicating a sketch stroke. Where the first two indicate coordinates, and last three elements indicate the pen state. Importantly, we attach a learnable weight to every stroke that decides how important it is for reconstruction, with respect to the primary objective. In the photo branch the extracted photo feature is reconstructed to its corresponding edge map via a convolutional decoder over MSE loss. The entire training is wrapped in a meta-learning framework which involves two loops. The stroke-specific weights are meta-learned along with the triplet and reconstruction objectives in the inner loop to pseudo-update the model in a way that minimizes the primary triplet loss in the outer loop, thus helping to quickly adapt to new sketches and conditioning the model's latent space to be robust against distortion from new cross-modal data. Once trained the model is now introduced to test time training paradigm. First, we optionally use the photo edge map auxiliary branch, to adapt the trained model to test photo distribution, via photo to edge map translation, on the entire gallery of test set photos. Next, during inference, we utilize the sketch raster to vector translation branch, to perform test time training for each sketch query as shown and adapt the model to test sketch distribution. Now using this updated encoder, we extract feature from query sketch to perform retrieval. After evaluation, we reinitialize to the original post-training phase encoder and repeat the process for new test samples. We evaluate our sketch 3T framework, on the popular sketchy and two Berlin datasets, which are large collections of photo sketch pairs. We compare our method against the state-of-the-art zero-shot SBIR methods. We also adapt test time training methods, in context of SBIR, as well as design a few meta-learning baselines for a fairer evaluation. The performance of the model is measured using mean average precision, and precision across top 200 retrievals. Table shows quantitative evaluation. Our method outperforms other state-of-the-arts, and designed baselines. Some qualitative results on sketchy dataset are shown comparing our method with against a baseline. We perform various ablative studies to justify our design choice. While absence of an auxiliary task defeats the entire performance, switching off meta-learning, or ignoring learning of stroke-specific weights, drops results as well. Out of the different auxiliary tasks, photo reconstruction scores most, yet is outperformed by ours, as edge map bears more relevance in context of a sketch, than photo, thus enriching the cross-modal manifold accordingly. Ablating the meta-learning gradient update steps, we find one to be optimal, whereas test time training needs four. Also, 64 proves to be an optimal feature dimension for discriminative learning, unlike auxiliary branch, which is 128. Thanks for your attention.